one company uh, has several bank signatures and those bank signatures from different banks one is uh, the uh, vice chair of the ruling party and the other he, according to what Honorable Murabe is saying is a colleague of the deputy president and it is only in the fairness of what Kenyans need to see uh, well, why, why don't uh, why don't you read why, why don't you uh, read? Rashid, Rashid, why don't we do this? Why don't you read those letters? No, uh, uh, this is letter. official. Uh, 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 this is a doc no. It's not yet official. It is official after we've confirmed. This is a letter, and this is what now we will do. I'm giving instructions to the clerks to write to to Kemsa to give us all information and every correspondence is they did with Kilik, because over and above this as well, it is important for us to know. A four billion shilling commitment letter was done and cancelled. We don't have communication whether Kilik were, were actually fighting for that revital of it. And so far it is verbal. Does that mean that Kemsa gave that on a, on a verbal? And this is a letter signed by Waiganjo Karanja, who was director, finance and strategy, and Mr. Jonah Manjari. We wish to inform you the above named are our suppliers. This is a letter that has been done to Kenya Commercial Bank. We have contracted them to supply medical commodity support Ministry of Health. We confirm that the suppliers instructed us to remit their payments for the above commodities once delivered to our warehouse to the bank detail below. Uh, account name is Kilig Limited, KCB Bank Kenya Limited, account number 12731537331. The payment point will only be changed through fresh written instruction from the supplier. I'm getting a bit concerned as well because it is the same Kilig again who then thereafter, through Equity Bank, wrote a similar letter to Kemsa. So they were actually, if this is what it is, then that means there is more than meets the eye. But that's what I members, wanted to explain, uh, Chair. Uh, uh, we, 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 it, it is okay, and this is the reason why, on Honorable Murat. Let me explain. Let me put you in perspective. Go ahead. This company is owned by William and Zoo. They approach people who are saying they can finance it, who come through the lawyer, uh, Bruce. They transfer the company to these new beneficial owners. There's no Those Bush. New uh, are you referring to Bush? Yes. Or Bush. Yeah. He yes. said he's uh, uh, acting on behalf of his clients right these ones then are unable to do it so the company then reverts because they can no longer do it and by this time remember they have an extension then these guys come and say look these guys are unable to do it these guys have the kids these guys can give us to deliver to save face and these guys then demand open that account and you, who is uh, giving us comfort that these guys will pay, make sure you are part of it. Then when Kemsa says we don't have budgetary provision to continue with this commitment, everything stops. I cease being even a signatory. We cease any communication and so far as that matter is concerned. But if you ask anybody today, Murata was paid four billion, or Murata was involved in four billion. Well, I, I, I want to put I, it I, I think very, this very is what uh, right? Mwababu no. was saying. Eh? No, no, no. The no, politics no. of it. When you start getting the media giving false headlines, the no. facts are there. You know. I, I, I want, I, and I've said this before. I, 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 we are going to definitely write to KCB. Uh, to be able to get to us this particular issue, the same way exactly. we wrote to Equity Bank. However, I want to put it now out in the clear that the only thing that is there is a commitment letter that was done to Kilig for 4 billion shillings. That commitment letter was cancelled. However, mysteriously, mysteriously, that commitment letter was revived. We do not know who interfered, why it was revived. The reason why we need to get to the bottom of this as well is because the current director of this company has indicated the intention that they might want to take the path of suing Kemsa. It is our interest to protect uh, uh, any uh, uh, state investment that is there. Honorable Meli, I think your, your line of questioning has produced other things. Let's have Rashid. Ch Chair, you've not finished no, no, no. your statement. No, I, I think I'm, I, I've it actually... Was, yeah, we have, it was made mysterious. A was it awarded or it was cancelled again? Yeah. No, you see, you see, honorable members, 
The, this this contract, uh, 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 no, Kandia, Kandia, well, let's have a bit of order. This document, there's a four billion shilling tender, uh, uh, a letter for a company that was registered in January. That in itself is a query. So let's have Rashid, uh, uh, and then after Rashid, we'll have Omar. Uh, chair, thank you, thank you. I think I've, I've waited patiently for, for, for my queries to be answered. Go ahead, Rashid. And, uh, I'm glad that I'm given uh, finally an opportunity. <clears throat> I want to ask uh, Honorable uh, uh, Moishimua, who appeared before us, Murade, that you are aware that you are guaranteeing a supply of 450,000 personal protective equipment worth 4 billion shillings? No. Uh, re repeat your question, asking, Rashid. What, you are, what were you asking? You are guaranteeing payment or supply of 450,000 PPEs worth 4 billion shillings? No. What were you guaranteeing? This specific consignment of 50,000 pieces, which Entech had, which Entech was willing to give to Kilik, for Kilik to take to Kemsa. And I said, if you deliver to, to Kemsa on behalf of Kilik, and they get paid as Kilik, I will assure you, these guys will pay your money. What was the worth of that uh, payment? What was what, the? What was the worth of? I don't know. You are not aware? I am not aware. Of the value? No. Of that quantity which you are guaranteeing? No. You are not aware? I'm not. So you guaranteed an arbitrary amount of money for payment to be done by Kemsa on behalf of Kili? To For Kemsa to pay Kili? Yes. And I'm telling Entech, yes. give them. If they take and they are paid, I assure you, you'll be paid. So you're assuring and That's what happens among friends. I thought you were a Somali. You do it without any right. No, no, no. No, they do. That's how they do business. No, 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 That's how they do their business. No, they're not. Can you confirm or deny? You do business on the business of a handshake. No, 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 which is okay. It's not, a, it's not out of order. You don't take it out of context. Don't take it out of context. I'm telling you, I'm aware of how Somalis do business. No, they no. do it on the basis of a handshake. They don't even sign anything. No, actually, you're wrong.